everyone this is Sarah and welcome to my crochet channel today's video we're going to make something just a little bit silly and still useful now my friend has a lake house and she asked me if I could make some fish shaped washcloths and so I got to working on this and I think this one is super fun I'm calling it a little fishy <laughs> washcloth or dish cloth because you can use it for a washcloth or you can wash the dishes with it now the original one that I designed is this one because she wanted hers made out of acrylic yarn she prefers the acrylic yarn because it doesn't absorb as much and it still works really great on the dishes and this is just a red heart super saver variegated that I had on hand that I used for my original test the next one I made is this one and this one is made out of the Karen cotton cakes and I just began at the beginning and just went with the colors that were on it it was some that I had left over and it works up really nice now even though it's a it's a number four yarn like the worsted weight it came out just a little bit smaller but it still is a great washcloth and I think this one is great for the bathtub too I think it'd be a lot of fun for kids in the tub to have a little fish shaped washcloth to play in the tub with the last one that I made is this one I decided to do it in three colors I started with the white then I used some variegated and then I ended up with the yellow and this one is made out of the new red heart scrubby yarn that is called the smoothie scrubby which is a cotton that goes along with the scrubby yarns and we're going to be making one similar to this today the fish itself measures about 11 inches by about five and a half at its widest point now this will be a free crochet pattern on my blog and you can find that blog link down in the notes underneath the video for today's demonstration we're going to make a fish that looks similar to this yellow one only we're going to be using this variegated teal and white and then a small amount of black for the eye and the mouth you're going to need an H hook which is a 5.00 millimeter crochet hook you'll need a needle for weaving in your ends and sewing on that eye and mouth and then you'll also need a pair of scissors so gather your supplies and we'll make ourselves a little fishy washcloth we're going to start at the nose of the fish and then work our way down to the tail so I'm beginning with my white yarn I'm going to make a slip knot I'm going to chain five chains and join that in a circle by putting that tail on my hook and pulling it through snug that down and then make that little stay knot so now I have this little loop that I'm going to stitch in I'm going to put my hook through pull a loop up and chain three now this chain three counts as our first double crochet and then I'm going to stitch six more double crochets so I have a total of seven double crochets and we're stitching right in this chain five loop all right let me count see how many I have so here's my chain three counts as my first double crochet so there's one two three four five six seven so I'm going to chain three and turn now the chain three counts as our first double crochet so I'm going to put a double crochet right in that same stitch and then I'm going to put one double crochet in each of the stitches till I reach that last one and we're moving up from seven double crochets to nine because we increased at the beginning and we'll increase at the end so 
So here's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then we're going to put two in the top of that chain three that counted as our first double crochet. And that way we went from seven double crochets to nine double crochets. We increased at the beginning and the end, and we're gonna do that again. Chain three, put a double crochet in the same stitch as the chain three, then we'll double crochet across, and we'll go from nine to 11. Now I'm going to put two in the top of that chain three that counted as that first double crochet. One and get in there. <laughs> two and then chain three again. You'll notice that on the first row we had seven, then we have nine, now we have 11, and then our next row we're going to have 13 because we're going to repeat this for two more rows. So, double crochet in the same stitch as that chain three, one double crochet in each stitch across, and then we'll put two double crochets in the last stitch, which is the chain three that counted as a double crochet on that previous row. So now we have 13, and we're going to do this one more time. Double crochet in the same stitch as the chain three. One double crochet in each stitch across. Whoops, <laughs> keeps jumping off my hook. All right. And now I'm to that last stitch, which is the chain three from the previous row. And we'll put two double crochets in the top of that chain three. And so now we have 15 stitches across. Now, what we're going to do now is just chain one. This next row, we're gonna do a similar, we're gonna increase by one here and here, only we're going to stitch single crochets in each stitch across. All right, so we chained one and the chain one does not count as a stitch. So we'll go right in the top of this double crochet and stitch two single crochets. Then we'll stitch one single crochet in each of the double crochets across. And now I'm to that chain three that counted as our double crochet here. 
and I'm just going to stitch two single crochets in the top of that stitch. Now this is what the top of your fish head should look like at this point. The next thing we're going to do is change colors and do the shell stitch section. For the shell stitch section, we're going to cut off our white yarn because we're finished with our first color. And we're going to bring in the variegated. So we'll just join our yarn in and chain one. Now, if you're doing yours all one color, of course you don't have to change colors. You can just turn and start with our shell stitch section. All right, so we're going to place a single crochet in the first single crochet. We're going to skip the next single crochet, and in this next single crochet, we're going to stitch three double crochets. That's our first shell stitch. We'll skip the next single crochet and stitch a single crochet in the next. And now we'll repeat this across. Skip the next stitch and stitch three double crochets in this next stitch. Skip the next and single crochet in the next. And we'll do that again. Skip the next and three double crochets in the next. Skip the next and single crochet in the next. <clears throat> Then we'll skip the next and place three double crochets in this next stitch. One and two and three. And then we'll place a single crochet in this last single crochet. All right, so now we're going to chain three and turn. For this next row of shell stitches, we're going to place a double crochet in the first single crochet. The chain three counted as one double crochet and we're putting a second one right in that same stitch. We're gonna put a single crochet in the second double crochet, which is the center double crochet of our first shell. So we'll put one single crochet right there. And then we're going to go to the single crochet and stitch a shell stitch. There we go. So I got a little bit of yarn barf there. One, two, and three. We stitched those three double crochets for a shell stitch. Now we're going to single crochet in the center or the second double crochet of that next shell stitch from the previous row, and then we'll go to the next single crochet and stitch a shell stitch, which again is three double crochets in the same stitch. There we go. Now we're going to single crochet in the top of the center of that shell stitch again. And then we'll put three double crochets in the next single crochet. Single crochet in that center double crochet of the next shell stitch. And then that brings us to our last single crochet and we're just going to place two double crochets in that last single crochet stitch. 
So that's our second row of shell stitches. All right, so at the end of this row, we're only going to chain one and turn. And now we're going to repeat what we did on the first row of shell stitches. Single crochet in that first double crochet. Then we'll skip over to the first single crochet and stitch a shell stitch. Single crochet in that center double crochet of the next shell stitch. Then we're going to put a shell stitch in the next single crochet. Single crochet in the center double crochet of the next shell stitch. Now we're going to place a shell stitch in the next single crochet. single crochet, shell stitch. And then we'll place a single crochet in the top of that last stitch. So there's our third row of shell stitches. Now we're going to be repeating, let's get that yarn out of the way there. <laughs> All right, we're going to be repeating what we did on these last two rows. Now we have three rows, we need to have three more rows of shell stitches. So we'll chain three, We'll place a double crochet in that same stitch as our chain three. Single crochet in the top of the shell. We single crocheted in the top of the shell and now we're going to place a shell stitch in the next single crochet. And then we'll just repeat this across. There's our last single, and now we're going to place two doubles in that last single crochet. And now we have four rows of shells. And then we'll repeat what we did on these two rows one more time. So we'll have a total of six rows of shell stitches. So now I have six rows of shell stitches. We're going to cut our yarn and I'm going to switch over to my solid teal yarn. So we'll bring that in the same way we did the variegated. Whoops, there we go. <laughs> then snug that down and we're going to turn. So we're going to chain, I chained one, so we're going to chain two more. And on this row, we're just going to place one double crochet and each double crochet across. My chain three counts is my first stitch, so I'll go in the next stitch and stitch one double crochet in each stitch. And that means I'm placing one in each single and one in each double across.
you should have 17 double crochets across. All right, we're only going to chain one and turn. And we're going to do some decrease stitches here so that we get the shape of the fish. It needs to come in and then back out. And so what we're going to do is we're going to do what's called stitching two double crochets together. So we're going to yarn over, we're going to go in the first double crochet and pull up a loop. Then we'll go in the next double crochet and pull up a loop. You'll have four loops on your hook instead of three like we normally do with a double crochet. You're going to yarn over and go through the first three loops, yarn over and go through the last two. And what we did is we made two double crochets into one. We're going to double crochet across, placing one double crochet in each double crochet. And then when we get to the end of the row, we'll do another double crochet decrease or stitching two double crochets together with the last two double crochets on this row. I finish double crocheting across till I reach those last two double crochets and we'll do the same thing. We'll yarn over, we'll go in the first double crochet and pull up a loop, then we'll go in that next one and that next one of course is the chain three from the previous row. Four loops on our hook, yarn over, go through the first three, yarn over and go through the last two, chain one and turn. And so what we did is we went from 17 double crochets to 15. Now we're going to decrease on both ends again. So yarn over, go in the first stitch and pull up a loop. Go in the next stitch and pull up a loop. Yarn over, go through the first three. Yarn over and go through the last two. Then we'll double crochet across like we did previously. And when we get to the last two stitches, we'll do another double crochet decrease. So I've double crocheted across. I'm to those last two stitches. Yarn over, go in the first, pull up a loop. Now we'll go in the next one, pull up a loop. Yarn over, go through the first three, yarn over and go through those last two, chain one and turn. And you can see how it's starting to move in. All right, so we're going to do one more of those. We went from 17 to 15 to 13, and now we're going to go to 11. So yarn over, we're gonna do our decrease stitch here again with two double crochets together double crochet across and then we'll do another double crochet decrease at the end of this row. And then we'll stitch these last two together. And we'll just chain one. And that's the way that it should look at this point. You can see we curved back around. And now we're going to come back out for the tail. All right, so we've come in. And now we're going to go back out a little bit. We've got a chain one. We're going to put two more on there. So we have a chain three and turn and we're going to place a double crochet in the same stitch as that chain three because we're going to start flaring our tail back out. Now we're going to double crochet in each stitch across. There we go.
in the last stitch and we're going to add a second double crochet in that last stitch. See how it's starting to flare out again? All right, now we're going to chain three and turn. Now on this next stitch, we're going to begin doing our back and front post stitches. And they're not hard, you'll see. So we have our chain three. We're going to put another stitch in that same stitch of our chain three so that we have two double crochets together. Now we're going to do a front post double crochet in this next stitch. So we're gonna yarn over. And instead of going in the top of this stitch, we're going to go in what's called the front post, which is the long part of the stitch. So we're gonna yarn over, pull it through, and then make a double crochet. Now the next stitch, we're going to do a regular double crochet. The next stitch is a front post double crochet. The next stitch is a regular. And we're gonna do this across, doing every other stitch, front post, regular old double crochet in the next, front post in the next, double crochet in the next. See how those stand up? Front post, oops, get it around there. <laughs> the next, double crochet in the next, front post in the next, and then we're going to stitch two double crochets in this last stitch, which is the chain three from the previous row. There we go. And that's your first row, which is your front post stitches. All right, so now we're gonna chain three and we're gonna turn. Now we want our stitches to be to the front and so we're going to be doing what's called back post stitches opposed to front post stitches. So we're going to place another double crochet in the same stitch as our chain three and we'll go ahead and stitch a regular double crochet. And now we're going to do a back post. And what that is, is we're gonna go right in that front post from the front, but we're moving from the back now, so we're calling it a back post, and stitch a double crochet. We'll stitch a double crochet in the next stitch, and then we'll stitch a back post in the next stitch. Take your time, it can be a little bit clumsy until you get used to doing them, but they're a really great texture and they really make the, the tail of the fish look like it has fins. And so we'll do this all the way across. Front post. Double crochet. Front post, double crochet, back post. Now, I said front post. When you're stitching them on the front, they're the front post. We're stitching from the back, so these are all back posts, okay? All right, so now we're going to just stitch a double crochet, and then we'll stitch two double crochets in the last stitch. And chain three. All right, so let's turn it over and take a look at it. So this row we did front posts. This row we did back posts because we wanted them to be stitched on the same post from the previous row. All right, we just have one more row to do. 
And of course, these are going to be front posts because we're coming from the front. So we're going to place a double crochet in the same stitch as our chain. We're going to stitch a front post in the next stitch. Then we'll stitch a double crochet. And now we're going to go and stitch a front post right around that same stitch. Regular double crochet and front post all the way across. One double crochet. We're going to stitch an additional front post in the next stitch. And then we'll stitch two double crochets in this last stitch. That is chain one just to keep it from coming unraveled. And that's the way the tail of the fish should look. See those posts front, back, front? All right, so the last thing we need to do is we're just going to stitch an even row of single crochet all the way around our little fish. And the best way to stitch single crochets around the edges is to try to go in the stitches and not the holes. For instance, we have a hole here but I'm going to go in the stitch on the side to try to give it just a little bit smoother of a look. There isn't a set number of single crochets that you need. You just need to look at it and make it nice and even. All right, that one I'm going to go in the hole since the stitch is too tight. And we have to do that sometimes. It's just what works best for your project. There we go. So you can see I'm just working down the side of the fish. I'm going to work all the way down to the nose uh, evenly stitching single crochets down the side. It's always nice to have that nice row of single crochets to give it just a nice finished look. Now I stayed with the teal color. You can always go with another color, the white, or even a third color, a fourth color. You know, it's up to you how you do your fish. I think it'd be really fun to do them all in really bright colors too, like hot pink and bright yellow. It'd be great for a kid's bathroom. All right, I'm almost down to the nose. I wanted to show you what to do on the nose of the fish. All right, so I'm almost down to the nose. Now, when we started the nose, we did that chain five. We got a little circle here. So what you're gonna do is go in that little circle and place three single crochets right in that little circle and then you'll turn and work your way right back up the other side of the fish.
That way he has a nice pointed nose. I've single crocheted back up the second side and now I'm going to single crochet across the bottom of my fish. And I'm just placing one single crochet in each of those stitches across the bottom. All right, so I'm back where I started. I'm going to join right to that first single crochet with a slip stitch and tie off. And then I'll use my needle to weave that in. So what we're going to do is we're going to add a little eye and a little smile to our fish. Now, if you don't want one on there, you certainly don't have to put one on there. I just think it makes them look a little bit fun and silly. All right, so I cut off a piece of black yarn that's about, oh, 18 inches long. Let me move this one out of the way. And what we're going to do is we're going to come up from underneath and we're going to make sure that we go through a stitch, not a hole. We're going to pull that, but we're going to leave ourselves a little bit of yarn on the back. And I'm going to go in another stitch and just make a loop. All right, I'm going to turn this so that I can hold it. And I'm going to make a French knot. And you do that by wrapping your yarn around your needle about three or four times. Make sure you don't do it too tightly. And then go right back in. Gently pull that thread through so that the knot stays on the top. That's our eye. And then what I do is I just make another little loop on the back just so it stays put. Be careful not to show through on the front. Okay, so now I want to make a smile. So what I do is I come down from the eye a couple of stitches, again going up through a stitch, and I just like, here's one, I'll go down to that third stitch and go in there, that's the edge of the mouth. I missed my hole there, my spot. There we go, because I want to make sure I go in a stitch not a hole. Okay, and then I'll come back up underneath, going through a stitch. And then I'm just going to use straight stitches and embroidery a little smile, making sure, again, I go through stitches, not through the holes. And I'll come right back up where I came. And I'll just make these straight stitches till I reach the trim of the fish. There we go. Now that one's a little bit straighter. I think this one is a little more curved. Oh, maybe not. <laughs> but that's how you put on the little smile. And what I'll do is I'll go back through the back of the fish. and just weave that in and cut those strings off. We want to make sure it's going to stay put. And a lot of times I'll go ahead and just add a little knot on the back. I need to weave these in from the eye, but that's the way it should look on the front. And that's how you crochet a little fishy washcloth that you can use in the bathtub, you can use it in the kitchen, or you can just use it for a decoration.